We are at the cutting edge of visualising future defence capabilities. Fifth generation fighters rule the skies today, but sixth gen jets are already on their way. While fifth gen platforms generally emphasize stealth, advanced avionics, and highly integrated battlefield networking capabilities, sixth generation fighter concepts go much further. Current ideas include features from helmet-mounted instrument displays and enhanced stealth capabilities to optionally man flight with the potential for eye-controlled missions. Aerospace technology has developed rapidly since the inception of manned flight some 120 years ago, so it should not come as a surprise that several nations are already working to develop a sixth-generation fighter jet. One such project is the United Kingdom's Tempest program, also known as the Future Combat Air System at CAS. No one has ever fielded a sixth-generation fighter. In fact, only three nations have even fielded a fifth-generation fighter. The U.S. led the way with the F-22 Raptor, still the world's preeminent air superiority fighter, and the F-35 Lightning II, a multirole fighter that is the world's best aircraft with respect to sensor fusion and data interconnectivity. China and Russia have also fielded fifth-generation fighters, the J-20 and Su-57, respectively but with less success. It may seem strange, then, that nations which have not developed a fifth-generation fighter are already working to develop sixth-generation technology. The UK Ministry of Defense's effort to create a sixth-generation fighter is led by BAE Systems. The FCA's project includes a contingent of prominent European weapons manufacturers, including Leonardo, Rolls-Royce, and MBDA UK. The British government is expected to spend £2 billion on the project's initial phase by 2025. Movement on some of the new technologies supported by the fund injection is already visible as fighter elements begin entering testing phases. This came most recently just last week, in the form of dramatic ejection sea trial footage that took place along a rocket sled. Development of the next generation of fighter jets is viewed as critical to addressing security concerns for all parties involved, especially against the backdrop of increased Russian aggression in Europe and a growing Chinese military presence near Japan. While the Tempest is still in its early development stages, the goal is to have it operational and in service by 2035. To bolster development efforts, the UK's Ministry of Defence awarded Team Tempest a contract extension worth £656 million, $815 million, in April this year. The BAE Systems Tempest represents a bold step into the future of aviation, with the potential to reshape how air forces conduct missions and in engage in combat. As the project progresses, it will be closely watched by the global defense community, as its success could redefine the standards for modern military aircraft and pave the way for a new era of aerial superiority. The Tempest is expected to be equipped with state-of-the-art technology, including a more efficient power system capable of delivering greater range and endurance through a higher thrust-to-weight ratio. It can deliver more electrical power than ever and features an intelligent propulsion system that is designed to aerodynamically match the aircraft, optimizing overall performance, range, and payload capabilities. In the cockpit, you'll find that there aren't any physical dials or screens. Instead, AR and VR displays displays are directly presented in front of the pilot's eyes. The virtual cockpit is supported by haptics that give the pilot the sensation of touch. To promote safety, gesture control and eye tracking technologies measure the pilot's workload to identify fatigue and mental stress. One of the key design principles of the Tempest is its adaptability. The aircraft is designed to be versatile, with the ability to be reconfigured for different mission profiles. Its hardware and software, including weapons, sensors, and fuel tanks, can be swapped out depending on mission requirements. The air strategy described a potential Tempest as an aircraft, manned or unmanned, whose prime function is to conduct air-to-air -air and slash or air-to-surface combat operations in a hostile and slash or contested environment, whilst having the ability to concurrently conduct surveillance, reconnaissance, electronic warfare, and command and control tasks. The Tempest should also feature technologies already incorporated in fifth-generation platforms, super cruise, thrust vectoring, internal weapons phase, and stealth characteristics. 
Stealth is becoming a de facto requirement in new aircraft. Air defense technology has improved to the point where non-stealth aircraft can be categorically denied. One of the more curious aspects of the Tempest is the expected ability to control drone swarms. The American sixth generation effort, the NGAD, is also being designed to coordinate drones, so it seems like the drone swarm is going to be a fundamental feature of sixth generation aircraft. The Tempest's outward design has been unveiled. The airframe will feature delta wings and outward pointing vertical stabilizers. The fuselage has a slightly raised rear section to accommodate S-shaped ducting behind the twin engine inlets, a feature that will reduce the jet's radar cross-section (RCS). The jet's two engines are situated deep within the fuselage, again, to minimize RCS. The Tempest is not the only jet in the race to develop a sixth-generation aircraft. France, Germany and Spain are also in collaboration on a sixth-gen fighter. The U.S. is also currently developing two sixth-gen fighters, one led by the U.S. Air Force and the other by the U.S. Navy. Both are expected to enter service in the 2030s. The Navy's S-AXX program aims to develop an air superiority fighter that will replace its F-18s, while the Air Force's next-generation air dominance NGAD initiative looks to complement the F-22. Following trends in aerospace development, the Tempest pilot helmet will be sophisticated with the ability to monitor brain and other medical data. For each pilot, the helmet will help accumulate a unique biometric and psychometric database, which will grow the more the pilot flies. The helmet, paired with advanced AI, is expected to assist the pilot when needed. For example, if the pilot blacks out during a high maneuver, the AI can step in and handle the flight controls. Similarly, if the pilot needs to focus elsewhere, such as when guiding a weapon after firing, the AI can help handle the aircraft. Under the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, the project is led by Team Tempest, comprising the United Kingdom, Italy, and Japan, who are working together to leverage expertise from various fields to create a world-class fighter jet. The Tempest is set to replace the UK Royal Air Force and Italian Air Force's Typhoon, an agile, multi-role combat aircraft. Similarly, the Japanese Air Self-Defense Force is looking to replace its Mitsubishi F-2 fighters with this revolutionary jet. And while it's true their equipment needs updating, successive British government have so badly underfunded the British military that its capabilities from even a few decades ago have been severely minimized. In essence, British defense planners believe their military to be a global power. Britain is, at best, a middle or regional power in dire need of rebuilding its force from the ground up. As observers of Britain's carrier program have seen, the Royal Navy was able to build their new carriers, but staffing them and supplying them with an air wing has been a routine problem. There have also been some technical issues that have troubled the warships, notably the HMS Queen Elizabeth. These problems do not appear to be under control, nor can they be placed under control because the cost of these platforms and the resource and time commitment for maintaining them is far greater than what the British Armed Forces can afford. Some weapons it will fly into battle with will include the Meteor Long Range Air-to-Air -air Missile System. Complementing that will be the Sipir 3 cruise missile, as well as the ambiguously titled Deep Strike missiles. It must be stressed, however, none of this has been built and tested in the real world. The Tempest remains an expensive concept. Learning from their American partners in peace with the F-35 Lightning II project, the British government opened up the Tempest program to allied countries as well. Japan and Italy are part of the Global Combat Air Program GCAP, that is meant to burden share the development of this advanced warbird. The only problem facing Britain is that unlike the American F-35 program, which has dozens of countries participating in the program, including the United Kingdom, is able to offset its cost with level of participation. With it, the tiny island nation's ability to punch above its wake in geopolitics disappeared as well. It is now on its own, and it must learn to operate as a regional great power rather than constantly trying to develop platforms that are more relevant to a global superpower rather than a medium-sized power. If you enjoy content like this, please go ahead and like and subscribe to this video because I appreciate all your support.